Hi XR developers! In the last video, we learned how to record a voice command using Meta's voice SDK and turn our speech into text. In this video, we can finally take this text and send it as a prompt to different large language models or LLMs for short. We can then get a response back and use Meta's voice SDK to speak the response out loud. This allows you to, for example, create natural conversations with NPCs or assistants in your Unity game. Meta, unlike other AI companies such as OpenAI or Anthropic, does not offer a direct API to their Llama models, but instead they are working with a vast network of partners such as Amazon, Microsoft, Google, Nvidia, IBM and more. Today I show you how to use Amazon Bedrock to access Meta's Llama model, but this will work very similarly with any other partner provider. If you like this type of content, please take a second to leave a like and subscribe, consider supporting me on Patreon to get access to the source code or other projects, and feel free to join our XR Developer community on Discord. And now, let's jump into how to use Llama 3 with Amazon Bedrock in Unity. Let's start by going to Amazon Bedrock and sign in to our console or register a new account if you haven't done so already. In our console, we want to go over to our account name and select security credential. This is the place where you can get your API token. Now, simply scroll down and under access key, click on create access key to create an access key as well as a secret access key. This is already half the setup in our Amazon account. Let's now actually access the Llama 3 model. We can go back to the Amazon Bedrock page and click on Get Started with Amazon Bedrock. Then again, click on Get Started. Here already, you will see a list of providers that host their LLMs on Amazon servers and which we therefore can access and use for our apps. Now, to use a model, we first have to request access to them. We can do this down here by going to Model Access under Bedrock Configurations. Here we can see a bunch of amazing models such as Anthropic's Claude Sonnet or Meta's Llama 3 and 3.1, which we will use in this video. Simply click on Available to Access and then Request Model Access. You then just follow to submit your request. Usually you should get access right away. Now you will notice that it also depends on which server region we selected. For me, London is the closest server that hosts the Llama 3 model. In this case, if I would want to access Llama 3.1, I would have to select Oregon in the US. Keep in mind though that bigger and newer models are usually more expensive to run. However, the cost in general is really not that expensive. I will leave a link to the pricing in the description. Alright, now we are finally ready to access this model from Unity. Let's open our project. I will continue with the Wakeware project from the last video, but this will also work with a fresh project. First, we need to install Nugget for Unity. Nugget for Unity is a Nugget client built from scratch to run inside the Unity editor. Nugget is a package management system which makes it easy to create packages that are distributed on a server and consumed by users like us. We can go ahead and download the latest Unity package for Nugget for Unity from the GitHub repository. After the download, we simply drag the package into our project folder. We now get a menu item at the top saying Nugget. Here we can click on Manage Nugget Packages, which is going to open Nugget's package manager. If you are on a Unity version 2022.3.20 or later, you already have newtonsoft.json in your project through the Unity package manager. If not, install it either there or directly from the Nugget package manager here. Then we can finally look for Amazon Bedrock and install the Amazon Bedrock runtime package. Once the Bedrock runtime is installed, we can finally create our custom logic to connect to Amazon Bedrock. Let's create a new script that we call Amazon Bedrock Connection. You can see that we are now able to use the Amazon and Amazon Bedrock namespaces in our c -sharp script, thanks to the Nugget package we just installed. These namespaces allow the script to manage AWS credentials and interact with Amazon Bedrock. Within the Amazon Bedrock Connection class, two fields are defined to store the AWS credentials, access key ID and secret access key. They are needed to authenticate with AWS. These fields are marked as serialized field, allowing us to set their values directly in the Unity inspect. I define two text fields to display our prompt and the response we get from the LLM as well as an input field that lets us type a new prompt, and lastly, a button which lets us send this new prompt to the LLM. Next, we make a reference to the text-to-speech component of Meta's voice SDK, so we can later speak our response. Then, this step is optional, but I usually like to introduce a variable where we as the user can input an additional prompt to give the AI certain instructions. For example, here I would like to tell the assistant to keep each answer within one sentence. This will also make sure that our voice SDK is able to speak the whole response since it usually doesn't work well with long texts. We then define two constants. 
model ID, which holds the identifier for a specific AI model, in this case Llama 370 billion, and region endpoint, which specifies the AWS region, in this case London, where the service is hosted. London in this case is the nearest server to me, but feel free to adjust this region to you. Depending on our server region, you could also use another Llama model, such as the brand new 3.1 model, if you are in the US in Oregon. If you're wondering where to get the model ID, you can head back over to the Bedrock console, and where you see the models, select Llama by Meta. If you scroll a little bit down to Llama models, you can see the model ID right here. For the region endpoint, you can simply open the dropdown at the top, and you will see the region identifier. For example, this would be US West 2 for Oregon. We could then easily select this endpoint from the region endpoint class here. Awesome! Next, in the await method, the AWS credentials are passed to the basic AWS credentials to create a new credentials object. This object is then used to create an instance of Amazon Bedrock Runtime Client, which handles the connection between Unity and Amazon Bedrock. We then listen for a click on our button, which is linked to our custom send prompt method, so that when the button is clicked, the user's input will be sent to the AI model. The send prompt method is responsible for the core functionality. When the user submits a prompt, this method is called. It first updates the prompt text UI element to display the user's input. Then it formats this input as required by the AI model by prefixing it with user and suffixing it with assistant. Also, we can add the user prompt to our main prompt here. The method prepares an invoke model request, which includes the model ID, the formatted prompt, and additional settings like the maximum length of the generated response and the creativity level of the AI, also called temperature. Next, the request is sent asynchronously to Amazon Bedrock using the invoke model async method of the client. Once the AI model has processed the prompt, the response is received and the script reads the content of the response. It extracts the AI's generated text from the JSON response using jobject.parse and updates the response text UI element to display the AI's response. Lastly, using the Meta Voice SDK, we would like our app to speak the response we got. We can easily do that by calling the speak method from our text to speech speaker and pass in the response. In summary, this script connects Unity with Amazon Bedrock, sends a user prompt to an AI model, and displays the AI's response back to the user as well as lets our app speak the response. Let's now go back to Unity and set up our scene. We create a new empty game object and add our script to it. Here we enter our credentials, which we can copy and paste from our Amazon console as shown in the beginning. Then let's set up some UI elements. We need two text fields. One input field and one button. Next, we are still missing our text-to-speech speaker. We can easily add this by going to Assets, then Create, then Voice SDK, then TTS, and lastly, add TTS speaker to Scene. This will automatically add a TTS width service, as well as the TTS speaker to our scene. If you like, you can even change the speaker voice from British Butler to regular male or female voices. We then reference the TTS speaker on our component, and lastly, if we want, we can adjust the user prompt to our specific needs, and then we can give it a try. We can now manually enter a prompt, such as, what is the meaning of life? And then press the button to send the prompt. The meaning of life is a subjective and personal question that can vary greatly from person to person. A possible answer being to find purpose, happiness, and fulfillment through individual experience. All right, you can see that Llama is perfectly capable and Amazon provides us with a blazing fast response. How about now we tie everything together and use our wake word from the last video. For this, we simply open up the voice manager script and add an additional variable, which is our newly created Amazon Bedrock connection. Then at the very bottom, after we receive the full transcription of what we said, we will then send this transcription as our prompt to our send prompt method. If we now go back to Unity, we simply reference our Amazon Bedrock connection script on our voice manager and give this another try. Hey Quest. What is the meaning of life? 
The meaning of life is to find purpose, a sense of fulfillment, and happiness through personal growth, relationships, and contributions to the world, while also accepting and embracing the mysteries and uncertainties of human existence. Excellent! As you can see, we can now input a prompt with our voice and get a response back from our AI model within seconds. Alright guys, I hope you learned a lot. If you liked this video, please take a second to leave a like and subscribe. Please consider supporting me on Patreon to get access to the source code. And if you have any questions, feel free to join our growing XR Developer community on Discord. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.